So, I'm sorry about the abrupt ending in the last episode, if you watched that. Um, the reason behind it is because my recording software crashed. Again. Um, well, not my recording software, my audio recording software crashed. But anyway, um, yeah, I was able to recover the audio file, so that's good. And uh, what I decided to do is just end off the video there because it was getting really long. Why are there vampires there? I guess he doesn't like those vampires. Okay. So he wants the vampires and the vampire hunters gone. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can just kill everyone. You can let the vampires kill the hunters and then kill the vampires. Or you can let the hunters kill the vampires and then kill the hunters. If you're scared of the vampire disease, what I would recommend is to talk to the hunters in town, have them kill the vampires, and then you can either go in there and tell them that the vampires are gone. There's a way to make them leave without killing them. Um, or whatever. Anyway, I'm just going to end up killing everyone, I believe. So you can either just go straight to Bloodcrust Cavern, um, or you can go to the hunters and tell them that they're vampires. I think I'm just going to go straight to Bloodcrust Cavern. Or do I have to go tell the hunters to come? I think I have to go tell the hunters to actually come, and then uh, I kill them, but I'm not sure. We'll find out in a second here. Because there's only there's two objective arrows on the map, but there's... Are you kidding me? Really? When I was outside the town, there was only one objective arrow. And now I'm inside the town, there's two. It makes no sense. Whatever. And I think the... I mean, I imagine the hunters are probably going to be, like, in a bar or something. Because they're hunters. Where else would they... Oh, I talked to this guy. Oh, no, not another one. I have some information for you. Yes, Bloodcrest Cavern. Okay, what do I do? Hello again. What do I do? Do I just follow him? I guess so. Is he going in this lodge here? I hope so. Um. Okay. I think I just follow this guy into the lodge, and this is probably where the rest of the vampire hunters are. Hopefully. I kind of skimmed through his uh, chat text so fast, I'm not exactly sure what else to do. Hello again. You know what, I'm just going to go out the door, go to the other green arrow objective marker, and hang out there, see what there is to see. I mean, he's telling me to go to Eridor, but I'm not sure why. Oh, is this another vampire hunter? I'm busy. I'm busy. You got business to Okay. That was rude. I don't know what to do. When I read the quest guide, it just said go to Eridor and tell him that stuff. But the the option that I saw in the quest guide was not there, so Eridor says I you know what, I'm just going to go to Bloodcrest Cavern, and if the quest works, it works, but otherwise, I don't know, I give up. Let's just go to Bloodcrest Cavern. I don't care anymore. I talked to Eridor, told him what I needed to tell him. We should be good. Alright, this is Bloodcrest Cavern here. My acrobatic skill increased. I'm pretty happy about that. And there are going to be vampires in here, so if you didn't know this already, um, with vampires comes the threat of vampire disease, which I cannot pronounce. So, it is a really difficult word to pronounce, so I'm not even going to worry about it. But if you want to, you can just save after you kill every single vampire. Uh, the general idea is just to take them out from a distance, and I do have a few arrows, 11 steel. I don't have many arrows, but I have enough. So, you just, yeah, you just want to shoot them from a distance and don't let them get close to you. And that way, you won't get the disease. Yeah, but if they hit you, that's that doesn't give you the disease, but it gives you a chance of giving you the... It, yeah, there's a chance of giving you the disease. Bow of cold, frost damage, 10 points, and strike. Huh. 
I think I'm going to use that just to sneak attack these guys. Um, so I make sure I don't get the disease. And we'll stick with the steel arrows because I really want to save those glass arrows for later on in the game. But anyway, the vampire hunters are going to go ham. Frost short sword of fragments. It's worth quite a bit. It doesn't weigh a ton. Disintegrate weapon 40 points. Oh, that's a useless enchantment on a sword. I'll take it to sell it. If I get over encumbered, though, that's the first thing I'm dropping, I'm telling you guys right now. But yeah, the vampire hunters will go through the dungeon. They'll go ham. They'll just start slaughtering vampires, but... Okay, look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Don't let them hit me. Crap. Crap. It's fine if the Dremora hits you. It doesn't matter with that guy, but... You want the vampires to hit you as little as possible. I thought that was one of the vampire hunters that already died. Come out. There you are. So, so far I have not gotten the disease. Which is good. Also, the vampire dust is not a very common alchemy ingredient, but it's a really good alchemy ingredient. So, you want to be taking that one. Can I sneak attack him? Yes, I can. Wow. <laughs> he forgot about me already. That's pretty crazy. Anyway, this bowl of coal does do a lot of damage, but... Oh, a dwarven cuirass. Take that. Wait, how much does it weigh? 40 pounds. Never mind. Just my chainmail cuirass is so crappy. This is only give 4 armor. Oh, it gives 6 armor. I was going to say, if that thing only gives 4 armor, that's a ripoff, because my chainmail cuirass gives 4 armor. But chainmail is obviously light armor, and dwarven is heavy armor, so it just depends what, on what you're into. Dwarven dagger, that's crappy. Make sure I sneak around so people don't notice me yet. Are those vampires or vampire hunters? I'm not sure, but I'm going to shoot them and find out. They look like vampires. Are you guys vampires? Are you a vampire? Help me. Don't kill me, please. Oh my goodness, I got the disease. Poor Flimic. I hate this game. I really do. But yeah, you can get rid of the disease. It's a huge pain. Um, you know what? We're just going to do it, though. I'm going to take that elven shield and get rid of the shield that I do have. I am, I'm not going to reload the game. I'm actually going to do the quest to get rid of the disease, just to show you guys what that's like. It gives slightly less... Protect, this shield gives slightly less protection. But at the same time, yeah, I'm going to also get these dwarven greaves because they're just so much better than my old rusty iron greaves. Get rid of those. So, yeah, I have Porphic Helma, whatever you want to call it. Um, the vampire disease. And that means that just quickly looting these guys, fire damage, 10 points on strike. No, thank you. Um, that means that I have to do a quest to get rid of it, and it's a really annoying quest, but there is a way. Um, and I believe it's Janus Hasildor that you actually talk to to get rid of the disease. I'm not 100% sure, though. Really? Really? Must we complicate things? But yeah, um, if you don't want to get the disease, just be really careful. And always sneak attack the vampires and try to take them out. It, it's pretty difficult, though, because you, you have a pretty good chance of actually getting that disease, but... Hit me. Okay. There we go. She's dead. And... Chest. We'll unlock this. Just auto-attempt spam it. Security skill increase. I'll take that. Mace of Aversion. Um, it's not worth a ton. It's definitely not worth enough to pick up considering how much it weighs. Pushing a healing. Anything else? And, uh... We'll try to... I believe I have some more arrows. Iron arrows. Yeah, th those will work. Really? So I didn't equip my enchanted bow now, because it doesn't really matter, because I already have the disease. I can't get it again. Does he have Daedric boots, or are those bound boots? If he has freaking Daedric boots, holy crap. 
Can you please stop staggering me? It's really annoying. Yeah, those were just bound boots. That sucks. I was like, holy crap, he has Daedric boots. That's awesome. But, um, bound items are, I mean, there's no point in binding armor. I mean, what, really, what's the point? It gives you slightly better armor, but that's about it. He has the same sword as I do. Alright, is there a chest in here? I don't believe there is. And we'll continue on. Oh, there's a chest. Any more vampires? Please take that potion. Oh, there is another vampire. Didn't even notice you. It doesn't look like you have anything good on, so I won't worry about it too much. For shields, it doesn't really matter how much armor they provide. Um, so you mostly want to just get a light one. And the reason behind that is because uh, you use the shield for blocking anyway. Now I must deal with the vampire hunters. So you can either tell them to leave or kill them. Uh, I don't think they have good drops though, so I mean there's not that much point in killing them. I'm just going to, to I guess, trade my blade skill a little bit more. <laughs> Why not? I was pressing the block button! Oh my goodness, that's annoying. Get rid of him. Oh, my killing was observed by forces unknown. That means I can now join the Dark Brotherhood. Basically, all you have to do to join the Dark Brotherhood is kill someone who was not aggressive to you. And then you can do it. Mithril gauntlets. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything good there. Do I still have leather gloves, though? I think I might. Yeah, I have fur gauntlets. Okay, let's get rid of those and get on some mithril gauntlets. Just because, I mean, it, they're better than fur gauntlets, for goodness sake. Even though mithril gauntlets only give one armor, um, as I train my light armor skill, that will go up a bit. Speaking of armor, let's do this really quickly. Oh yeah, can't repair, repair enchanted items, whatever. Armor re increased. I need quite a few more armor levels before I can uh, repair enchanted items. So is there any th any more vampire hunters? Uh, I know two of them are already dead. So I believe uh, there's like four of them. I think there's also an orc guy, although I'm not exactly sure where he is. Maybe he might be running around this dungeon, I'm not sure. Is there anything back here? There's a chest. I'm glad I went back here. Glass arrows. I'm very glad I went back here. Of course, I think the only uh, arrows better than glass arrows are Daedric arrows. Don't quote me on that, though. But I'm pretty sure they're the second best arrows in game. Of course, I mean, you can always enchant arrows and get much, much stronger arrows. But enchanting arrows is a pain because you just go through them so fast you have to... You have to enchant a lot of them. Anyway, I have a suspicion that you can actually get rid of Porphic Hemophilia if... If you, like, pray at a temple on the first day that you get it or something like that. So we're going to try that. I'm not sure. I think it's like once you get fully infected of the disease, then you can no longer get rid of it. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But anyway, your character does change look. They start to look like a vampire. I mean, they look really cool. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, you don't want to get the disease because it means if you go out in the sunlight, you get damaged and it's just a huge pain. So yeah, you don't you really don't want the disease even though it makes your character look cool and makes you stronger as well as a vampire you get like boosted stats. Um, but we're not going to do that. I'm sure uh, if you wouldn't mind like waiting until nighttime every time you decided to go outside it would be a great great disease to have I'm just looking for the temple in this town I swear this town had a temple alright I finally found the church Skingrad is such a confusing town to navigate but let's test out my theory and see if you can in fact get healed of Porphic Helmophilia without doing the quest I'm not sure I think it may be possible but if not I'll just do the quest I'll just man up and do it Rejoice. Through faith, your affliction have been banished. Let's see. Yeah, I still have perfect hemophilia. Anyway, oh my goodness, I really, really hate doing the quest to cure this thing. It's so annoying, but I have to. But anyway, we have to get rid of that last vampire hunter. Um, I tried talking to him. I don't know if the game's just glitched or what. It does glitch sometimes a lot. But just talking to him doesn't do anything. You're supposed to talk to him and tell him the vampires are gone or something like that. But it looks like we're just going to have to kill him. Because I can't figure out any other way. 
Um, so he is upstairs. We're gonna have to, uh, yeah. I didn't want to murder this guy in his sleep, but it looks like I'm gonna have to to complete this quest, so anyway. Yeah, he is in here, so no one can see me. As long as no one notices you, you supposedly won't get fined for it. But in all honesty, you actually do sometimes. Like, it says no one notices me. Wow, he has a lot of health. The vampire hunters in Skingrad have been killed, okay. Now, uh, even though no one noticed me doing that, I probably will still, like, have a guard come up to me and charge me a thousand gold for killing someone. Probably. Just because this game, for some reason, likes to do that. It's all over, yep, Lord what did I tell you? Even though no one saw me, they still somehow knew. So, yeah, supposedly this game is supposed to work. If no one sees you do something, then supposedly you don't get fined. But, in all honesty, the game's freaking broken when it comes to the aspect of the guards. So... Anyway, let's go turn in this quest to the Count, and he's also the one that gives us the quest. Castle Skingred Dining Hall, okay. Let's go up there. Yeah, he is also the one that gives us the quest to cure the Porphic Hemophilia, so we're going to kill two birds with one stone here. And I believe we're allowed in here, I'm not... No, we're technically not supposed to go in here. But, I'm afraid if I just, like, wait outside. There we go. I might get, like, fined for going in here, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay, the Count isn't even in the dining hall, so screw that, we're just gonna wait. I think we'd talk to his assistant or something. She's not gonna be walking around at 6am, though. Because, I mean, you should be in bed at 6am. Like a normal person. There you are. I need to see the count. You have complete yes, I have. Go get him, please. How are you today? Who's this guy? You're new here. Do you have a quest for me? Then you are useless. Alright, we'll wait until she goes and does her job and gets the count. And hopefully this will work. No count, okay. Well, I'm gonna try my best to find him. Oh, I just saw a green arrow. Oh, there's Drew, huh? Druja, however you pronounce it. Are you gonna go get the count? Please remain here and be patient. Come on, I just want to finish this quest. Wait, wait. Oh, it was only an hour. That wasn't bad. So the work is complete. Yep, the work is complete. So he told us some crap. And you are supposed to also give me a quest about how to get cured as a vampire. Um, I'm going to have to look up, I guess, how to do that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I looked this up and supposedly within the first 72 hours of contracting porphic hemophilia... You're supposed to be able to um, use a temple to cure your disease. And I did use the temple and it didn't cure it. There are a few other ways to cure disease. Uh, you can use a cure disease spell, which I don't have. Um, I might want to get one of those, though, because we will be fighting vampire skin in the future. Or it says you can eat a mandrake root. So I do have a mandrake root, so I'm going to go to my chest and mandrake root. And apparently, if you eat them, it's going to cure your disease. So. We'll try it. See if this works. Okay, I ate the mandrake root. Is that going to cure my disease? Let's see. Moment of truth? Yes, it is. So, perfect hemophilia gone. There is a glitch associated with curing disease in temples. Uh, for some reason, sometimes you can click on the temple and it won't cure your disease. Don't know exactly why that is, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So, sometimes you might have to go get a potion or something like that and cure your disease that way. But anyway, I'm just going to quickly drop off some crap at my house. Let's see, what what's what do I keep in here? Oh yeah, I can drop off my robe of the conjurer. 
don't need that ever again. And I am going to go sell some stuff as well because I do need some money. Uh, well, you don't like desperately need money or anything, but I mean, money is just nice to have in this game. So, and drop off all our soul gems. Well, we had a lot of soul gems this time. And our welkin stones. Those welkin stones are so useful. So I really hope I get some more of them soon. Um, anything else we need to worry about dropping off? Arrows. That's right. This won't take long, guys. Don't worry. Drop off arrows. Um, steel arrows. Iron arrows. Uh, arrows are really common. I'll probably find some more soon. I just want to be as light as possible so I don't have to worry about coming back to my house anytime soon. Anyway, I love this house. It's so awesome. So I'm going to go sell some stuff and I'll be back when we're ready to hand in this quest. Alright, so I sold some stuff and I was like at 200 gold before I sold everything and now I'm almost at 6,000 gold so I did sell quite a bit of I got quite a bit of gold, but I had a ton of potions that were worth a fair amount of money, and I had a ton of scrolls, and I had a few like enchanted items to sell. I had some stuff in my house as well that I needed to sell. So, anyway, I have a little bit of gold to work with now. Um, obviously, I don't have enough to like afford the skin grad house or anything. But there you go. There's your news. My attention is really. Will you give me a quest? No, you're not going to give me a quest. Okay, I want a quest. Give me a quest. Your tap. Really? I just want a quest. What do I have to do to get one? What about you? Alright. My attention is focused on the council. Maybe we'll have to like wait twenty four hours. Hopefully that will do her. Other than that, I don't really know. I mean I know there is there's more mages guild quests that wasn't the last one but not exactly sure what to do next so hopefully waiting can solve it. waiting solves everything except porphic hemophilia so apparently porphic hemophilia if you don't cure it within 72 hours then you become a vampire um and after that the only way really Good day. i want a quest oh my goodness Twenty-four hours more. We'll try it. If not, I have no clue what to do next. But as I was saying, um, if you actually become a vampire, then you go to that count guy, and he will give you a quest to cure the vampirism. And once you're cured of the vampirism, you can never become a vampire again unless you cheat and use uh, console commands, which I'm never going to do because that's cheating. You can also cure vampirism. Oh, I just had to wait two days. Okay, that was easy enough. Uh, I think we're actually pretty close to the end of the Mage's Guild, and you might be thinking, wow, that didn't take long at all. But yeah, the Mage's Guild is actually quite short. It's shorter than the Fighter's Guild, and I believe it's shorter than the Dark Brotherhood as well. Dark Brotherhood is also shorter than the Fighter's Guild. But I remember what happens here. I remember this. This is bad. This is very, very bad. The Bruma Mages Guild is well as the if you, look, I doubt you picked this up, but the Archmage says the Bruma Mages Guild is in disarray, and that is a very, very uh, that that's a huge understatement. It is in it's more than in disarray. I will show you what kind. I mean, unless you call this disarray, you know. But are those regular race or faded race? Run, run, run. No, no, not dealing with them. Crap. I'm getting out of here. Oh, I should look for survivors. No, I don't want to go in there. There's freaking faded race. I don't want anything to do with these guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did I drop off my Welkin stones? I dropped off my Welkin stones. Oh my goodness. Help me. Someone please I'm going to die okay so we have two faded race running around town interesting so I'm gonna need to go get my staff of paralysis I did not think I was gonna be fighting faded race sorry I didn't know I didn't remember that part I mean I remembered yeah that the mages guild was destroyed I can't fast travel with enemies nearby. Come on, they're not even nearby. 
So I'm gonna have to just, I guess, leg it. Um, I might have to actually go out of Bruma into the countryside a bit before I can teleport. But yeah, I mean, I just, I need Welkin Stones. I do have Potions of Healing, but the thing is, my weapons aren't enchanted, so I can't damage the race without Majika, so... Yeah! Pretty much. Let's go out... Oh, they're actually trying to fight the Faded Race. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good luck with that, guys. Your weapons are gonna do nothing against them. But you're welcome to try. Oh, this one's almost dead. There we go. I think there's one other one. What are you doing? Are you trying to loot that faded wraith? I already looted him, sorry. They just kind of calmly go about their business. Okay. Okay, so can I teleport now? I need Welkin Stones. I can't defeat them without at least quite a bit of Majika. Okay, there. Maybe the other faded wraith died. Maybe the townsfolk took took, took care of him. Because I noted one uh, at least one of the townsfolk was using Majika, so... They're not all totally incompetent. Please shut up. But I only have to... Um, hopefully there won't be too many more race in that dungeon, because I can't deal with a lot of them right now. Well, I guess I could. I just don't want to deal with all of them right now. I should just keep those Welkin Stones on me at all times, just in case. Alright, I never should have deposited these things. I'm sorry. I know this is a huge nuisance. Okay, back to Bruma. I don't get a nice objective arrow to tell me where to go, so I have to try to remember where the mage's guild is. I think I can do it. It's right down here. Okay, let's go in here and uh, deal with any more wraiths. Yeah, this guy, I don't think he ever left. I forgot my staff of paralysis, but I should be okay without it. Oh, someone followed me in here? Who's this guy? <laughs> Why is he in here? Sometimes the AI in this game is so weird, I swear. I have no idea who he is or why he's here. Who are you? Tolgan. I don't think he's a part of this mage's guild. Uh oh. Selena died. I don't know who she is, but okay, she died, I guess. So I believe um, the only guy who survived is... Oh, I don't. I probably shouldn't spoil it, but the only guy who survived is Jaskar. And that's because he turned himself invisible because he's a wuss. Why are you here? I don't even know who you are. But yeah, Jaskar should be downstairs. Oh, Volaranio died. Poor guy. I remember him. He was so cool. He's my best friend. We don't want to get silenced. We do want a Welkin Stone. Really? I'm si- Oh my goodness. How many races are there? There's three of them? Urgh. Holy crap. Holy crap. This is not good. This could end very badly. I really hate having to deal with these things. I need, I'm gonna need some Magicka potions or something, because I'm about... Oh my goodness. I did bring some healing potions. Wow. 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 That's all I can say. I'm leaving. This is ridiculous. Yeah! I am now 25 um, in Speechcraft. Anyway. That's interesting. So, uh two wraiths down. I think there's one more left, but you know, thanks to the help of some of the friendly citizens, I was able to take down this wraith. Well, actually, two of them. Um, I'm not sure where the third one went to. Oh. That's where the third one went to. Okay. I guess the uh, the citizens killed him while I was running around the town. But anyway, um, all three wraiths are dead. And it only came as a loss of this guy and one of the guards. So, Three race dead, two towns people dead. Anyway, I guess that's the best way to kill these things. I was thinking, crap, I'm going to have to go buy some Majika potions or something to deal with these, but the townspeople helped me kill them, so good for them. Anyway, all the race should be dead now. And, uh, guess not. I guess not.
They're gonna follow me out here. Yes. Forget I said anything about the race being dead. Um, I think what I'm probably gonna have to do is just, I guess, lure these guys out here and then kill them like one at a time or something. I don't know. I don't really know what else to do. Okay, follow me out here. And Tolgan here. He can't even die, so he's gonna help me. <laughs> He'll be my meat shield. Help me kill these guys. I was thinking, um, another thing that I could do is probably enchant this sword at the Mage's Guild. Ah, uh, that might be a good option. Holy crap. These things just pack a punch. Yeah, I think what I'm probably going to have to do is, like, go to the Mage's Guild and enchant this sword, um, so I can actually use it to fight Wraiths, and that might be a good option as well. But anyway, um, I thought all those Wraiths that were down in the basement actually followed me out, but I guess that they didn't, so... I'll be back once I uh, figure out what I'm going to do to deal with these guys. Okay, it's like 10 minutes later and I'm back. Basically how I killed the race is I just uh, lured them out of the mages guild and then um, helped kill them with the help of townspeople and just waited for my Magica to regenerate. But anyway, um, I believe Jaskar is here somewhere. I think that it's Jaskar, the one that survived. I'm not 100% sure on that, but maybe he's out on this other end of the mages guild, past the fire and the flames. Man, this place used to be so nice before it burnt. Oh. Hello. What's over here? A visitor. I'm afraid you've missed the party. You won't oh. Wasn't she like the leader of the Mage's Guild? I think she was. Anyway, I guess she's actually a necromancer, so whatever. And there's Jaskar. Yeah, I knew that he was here. Yeah, Jaskar. Hey! No! No! What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> no! <laughs> I need to talk to you! What are you doing? No, please! Help me! I must have accidentally hit him while he was invisible, and now he's trying to kill me. Please don't, Jaskar. I mean, we're friends. Please don't kill me. I think there is a way to, like, offer an apology to people so that they don't attack you. What the crap, dude? I'm supposed to talk to you! To finish this quest. I'm sorry. I did not mean to hit you. Uh, are they are they gone? Okay. I figured I'm it out. Afraid. He killed them. The King of Worms? Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that. Okay, good. I was I was going to think, I hope he doesn't attack me again when I'm out of that dialogue. But Yeah, so try not to hit Jaskar there, or he will go pull on cat rage against you. All caps rage. I've always loved that saying for some reason. I don't know why. It's funny when people rage in the comments on YouTube and use all caps. Anyway, let's go talk to the Archmage and tell him that Camilla turned out to be evil and Jaskar turned out to be invisible. Two things that I'm sure he'll find very interesting. Yo. Any word from G yep. She's dead. You too. So, a plot revealed is... Oh, what am I doing? I need to start the next quest. No, don't go to bed. No, no. Wake up. Okay. Before Thank you. I should really. I need to speak to Ramnus Polar Bear. I did not want to do that. <laughs> and I don't know how to pronounce his last name, so we're just going to call him Ramnus Polar Bear. It sounds pretty good to me. Alright. 11.25 a.m. He should be out here by now. There he is. Advance me. Okay. Wizard's Fury added. Ooh, what's that? Is that a good spell? Probably not. We'll check. Oh my goodness. Fire damage, three points. Holy crap. This is a good spell, guys. You might want to use this one. So that's 26 points of damage plus 3 times 7, which is 21. Yeah, it's 21. So 21 plus 27 is 48. So 48 points of damage. That's pretty good. Um, especially considering my last spell 
was 25 points of damage. And this one, this one costs, oh, I guess it does cost more Magicka. I was going to say, no, this is the one I was using, 43 Magicka. It costs less Magicka and does like twice the amount of damage or something like that. But anyway, give me a quest. Okay, so in the next episode, we will be doing this quest, the Bloodworms Helmet thingamajigger. So, stay tuned till then, and I gotta go to work. So, peace out. Farewell. Bye. You can leave now. See ya.